A very good morning to you, Crafty Lot. It is Friday, the 17th of July. I can't believe the over half the summer is over now. I got the perfect project for you today. We're gonna make one of these lovely elastic bracelets. Um, they look like actually they would have been stitched together, but we're gonna do it with elastic. So it's super easy to take off and to put on. Um, the I, again, created eight different color bundles a couple of days ago when I was at work and I looked at um, the stock and what we had. And I just thought, oh, that just not good enough. We need more colors to play with. Um, and even better, Simon is giving us a discount call so at the checkout, if you put curve, C-U-R-V-E, at the discount code box, then you're going to get 15% off of your kits, which is, they are amazing. Each kit is making two bracelets. They are really great to, like, you know, you can make one for yourself and one giveaway. I sort of color grouped things together so you can make some interesting ones some places i put like a rose goldy color one with a copper which looks really good and the blues as well but let me turn you around i'm going to put you down on my mat and then we're going to start making and i can show you all the lovely colorways what we have so in we go there we are Good morning, everybody i hope all of you are okay and having a nice week Morning, Chef, Judy, Jen, Lucy, Mary, Michelle, Brenda, Paula, Chef, Debbie, Chris, Leslie, Karen, Francis, um, Joe, Mina, Nigel, Nadia, um, Joe, uh, Marion, Camille, Margaret, um, Doris, Karen. There is so many of you here. Right, so just quickly show you on the website. And then we get to making. I'm super excited about this because it's so comfortable to wear. Right, so website, don't forget we had a little bit of change around with our categories. So it's the fourth one from the top. Or if you go into categories again, it's going to be the fourth one on the left hand side. You go into our Facebook page and um, on our website, the Facebook tutorial page, to, uh, click on today's and I added all these lovely different colors. Now, I didn't have time to make all the full bracelets up, but last night, um, it was so funny, we were giggling here because I was up until about <laughs> 11 o'clock um, making like little samples up so I can show the colors off to you today. And um, I will finish the bracelets later on. So we got amethyst copper, we got blues, bronze copper, golden beige, a purple plum, silver gray. I love this one as well. Um, summer breeze. I call this one because it's the pinks and purples and blues. But I'll show you the real um, sample like uh, in a minute. And then a teal bronze. So let me just pop this to the side and I'll show you the colors. I am super excited about these ones. So... Um, do let me know which color you can see the um, best. Um, the code was curved, so C-U-R-V-E, and you get 15% off. Now, these are the blue ones I put together. So, what I did, I put a lighter tone together and a darker tone together. The seed beads are going to be using the same, but it makes such a difference. So, in the lighter one, it sort of lifts them. In the darker one... It just sort of gives that little bit of sparkle to it. So they are the blue colorways. Let me know which color you can see best as we're going along so I can then demo with that one. I got all the beads here. This is the silver gray. So you got a lovely silver um, beads, nib beads and cabochons. And then you got your hematite color as well. The seed beads are a hematite color. So as you can see, if you look at the silver, it's really lifting the silver up, making it stand out. And if you look at the hematite, it's sort of blending in and it's just a really nice... Um, colorway again oh i love this one this one i called golden beige because i put together beige and gold now what is so exciting about these because i i made the samples up in the color groups themselves so when you get any kit you will get two bags of the nib bit in one color two bags of the nib bit in another color a bag of um check cabochon in one color and a bag of check cabochons in another color and you get your seed beads but who wants to say you can't use this cabochon with these nib bits to really make stand them out so you can blend your colors as you like so this is the golden beige oh and the purples oh i love these ones as well 
These purple ones are so great as well. One of them is a bit more a plummy color. The other one is a more of a sort of a purpley color. Again, a really nice sort of little bend. The seed beads are iridescent, so they're bringing in a slightly different color. But if you see, so let me just move this. You can see the seed beads there. And um, they sort of look like more lilac-y color. And if you see the same seed beads with this color ones, they look more like a aubergine color. It's really great how, I suppose, putting colors together can change. So those are the purple. This is the Summer Breeze Bundle, which have got um, pinks and purples and blues in there. I love this as well, especially this light pink. I think it looks really nice, very summery, but then we created a darker one alongside it, then more sort of evening wear. So I would say this is day wear, that's your evening wear. Well, it really is up to you um, how you want to wear them right. This is amethyst um, copper. So you got in, in this bundle, you got like an amethyst selection of nib beads and cabochons and you got your copper ones as well. Um, again, you can put the amethyst cabochon with your copper ones to really enchant it and make it sort of a color send out. And good morning, Sarah. Sarah's here as well. I hope you're right, lovely. I think this is the thing. Even when we're not doing the Facebook lives, we can't keep away. We just need to be with you and um, um, see what's going on. So this is copper... Um, amethyst copper i love this colorway as well i love the i love bending the purples and the coppers together i think they just make such a lovely sort of combination now this one this is the trouble because when i was going through the colors i was like no i love this one and then i looked at another color and i said no i actually i love this one better and i sort of um kept um putting them together and just couldn't stop myself so this one i named bronze copper and this one is using the little rose gold seed beads which they are look really great because in the bronze they really make them stand out and in the copper they sort of blending in but with the bronze you get some more of a shiny finish and with the copper you get more of a matte finish so again you can make very two different bracelets with this kit and finally i got the teal the teal bronze, I think I called it. Yes, teal bronze. Now I put the teal colorway together. And again, I love blending other colors with um, teal because it just really makes it stand out a little bit more. And I found this cabochon. Um, I can't remember what exactly the name of it, but this has got turquoise and sort of got a bronze drizzle on there. So I thought they're gonna go perfectly together. So again, with this bundle, you can make very similar, sort of using the same colors, but very different, two different bracelets. Now in each of the bundles, as I said, you get two of your one, color of you two bags of one color of the nib bits two bags of the other color of your nib bits one bag of the cabochon color a one bag of your cabochon color b and a bag of seed beads now the elastic thread i'm using is the flat elastic thread and um they i we added to the bundles as an optional extra because um remember a couple of weeks ago we did a bracelet called caroline and it's using the same elastic so you might even have some in your cupboard from there and that i just thought that to like you know save you a little bit of money all you really want is the beads right um if you buy any of the bundles the pdf instructions will come with it printed out so you can um you can work from it but it's also available for download as well right so i'm just gonna pop the colors here and let me know which bundle excuse my little ends there you want me to demo with the blue might be a little bit dark but um all the other colors i got my well it depends on which one i'm, I'm looking at but i got my favorites so hopefully you will be give me the color what I really want to make as well but let's see so let me know what color do you want me to demo with the blues the silver gray the golden beige the amethyst copper the bronze copper the summer breeze the teal the teal bronze or the purples do let me know golden beige we're saying cream and gold seed beads cream Marion <laughs> I think you improve praying to somebody else um cream or gold 
So we are, this is the favorite at the moment. So are we gonna go with this? This actually, as I can see in the screen here, is showing up really, really very well. But the bronze, somebody's saying the bronze. I think the bronze, again, is a little bit dark. So the cream or the gold, I think, is gonna be really a nice, bright color to demo with. As some of you saying summer breeze, which is this one that's probably a nice light color to demo with as well um dorothy saying can't decide no i can't decide either. let's go with the cream and gold and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna blend the two colors together so i'm gonna use one color nib bits and the other color cabbage on for you so you can see that uh, by creating you know a different pattern bending your colors differently you can create a um different looking pendant Right, so let me just move this out. I need to move them careful because I still got all these strands. I'm gonna, I'm planning to finish these bracelets later on. But um, last night, like you know, this is eight kits, so it would have been 16 bracelets. I would have been up all night making them. So I just thought, just to show you the color, the little bundles will be enough. Right, so we're gonna do this golden, golden beige what shall we do shall we do i think i'm gonna do outside color in gold and i'm gonna put the beige cabochons with it so just to sort of mix it up to give you a different look now you're gonna need a um the flat elastic for this and you're gonna need a, a big eye needle now we got this flat elastic comes in plenty different colors so if you do add it to your order we will match it obviously up the ones what you need and i'm just going to put actually i'm going to pull these seed beads but well, these um beads out to the side a little bit so you can see better move those up right big eye needle um, there is so many different sizes of this. When I'm doing something like this, I like to work with a longer version because I can um, pick up more on it and then bead by bead, I'm gonna pull the, my pattern down. Uh, Lauren is asking, do you have to use elastic or okay with thread? You could do with thread, but then you have to put a clasp on there. Now, what I love about this elastic, it's going to be really nice and secure because don't forget, let me just get this bracelet off. Don't forget you have four different strands on there. So it's, you know, you, you're not just relying on one strand to hold your bracelet up. You got four of them to hold them up. And the only thing you're going to have to be careful is how you're picking up your beads. And as you can see, I did make a mistake in this one because this one is front to back but hey ho it's my bracelet i sometimes like to keep my mistakes and sometimes i have to correct them straight away right and i'm going to need some of these lovely seed beads so it doesn't matter which um row you're going to start picking up um, I like to sort of start in one of the middle rows and pick up my cabochon and nib bits, then come back and do the other row, um, pick up my rest of the nib bits, and then to finally do the two side rows, adding the seed beads. So I'm going to start picking up by a cabochon. Now, as I said, the only thing you have to be careful is the way how you pick them up because you don't want them front to back. So a good tip actually is to line them all up at the top, turn them so that dome side is at the top and if i turned it this this way so i can see the dome on the top this is the back of it so the back is always flat so if i bring it up and show you the back of it is flat and the front of it got this lovely dome shape so if i line them up um like this um i can always go through the top hole so if i dangle it down there's another hole just below but it's gonna be closer to the top edge of it. Then I'm gonna pick up a seed bead and then I'm gonna bring in my nib bits and I'm gonna just go through the smaller, if you see your nib bit, it's like a triangle shape. So you got a hole at the top going through, which is wider, and you got a narrow at the bottom. So I'm going through the narrow holes. So don't forget, if you go on our website, we got eight different color bundles today. And we, Simon given us a discount code which is quite good because I don't really have much to do with pricing. So you get 15% off with your um, order today on, on these kits. You get 15% off of the kits. If you put Curve, um, C-U-R-V-E, in your um, discount code box at the checkout. So I'm just going to add my pattern. Now, as you started with the cabochon, 
I'm trying to because I got quite a few of them to pick up and um, I don't want to bore you for longer longer long but the pattern you need to pick up one cabochon a seed bead a nib bit a seed bead nib bit a seed bead nib bit seed bead and then you back and you're going to be picking up the same over and over again as you know as long as you need to fit your wrist now i got a bit of a chunky of wrist so as you all know so i need about 10 cabochons on my strand i reckon sarah with her tiny veiny wrists she only would need eight cabochons on there just make sure you pick up the right pattern as you go along along do check yourself time to time because i'm notorious that um i pick up the wrong bead and i don't realize it until I actually get to the end now the only thing about these um, two hole beads and actually I haven't checked any of these because they got two holes sometimes you can get a hole um, so you go through one hole and when you come to add the second row here the second um, hole is a little bit blocked so you could go back and um, I, I, first of all what I do if I get one I show you my top tip what to do with it I get sort of a thicker needle and try to push it through it if that doesn't work then unfortunately you're gonna have to unstrap on string it and add a new one but you only get probably I get one in a 500 or one in a thousand so it's not something what you have to worry about all the way but if I'm I got the camera right here so I can't really turn it up but sometimes when I pick up these beads the way how I pick them up so I'll just show you just bring some more of these in when I pick them up I just turn the needle towards me and I just see through the second hole if it's all free so the discount code is for one week because we're trying to do different things um, for um, sort of different days and I know quite a lot of you now is gone back to work and watching our videos on catch up so we don't really want to just um some days we just do a flat discount but some days we like to give you a discount code which is valid for one week and um, you can come back later on and um, you still take advantage of our offers I, I um obviously the offer is there until the stock lasts I think I added an extra nib bit there until the stock lasts or um, or a week. So I'm just going to double check my strands. So all of my, that's the one at the end. So to double check your beading as you go along, just pull your elastic out. So you space the beads out. And then I sort of just put it down on my mat. And if they all sit the same way and I got the right pattern, and then I'm gonna carry on. So I, I probably check this every maybe five cabochon, four or five cabochon, just to be sure that I haven't picked up the wrong one. I haven't picked it up the wrong way because there's nothing worse when you made your bracelet went all the way along and then your second or third um, cabochon is sitting the wrong way. So just keep checking yourself as you go along. So if you just joined us, we're making this really lovely curve, um, you can, because the shape of these beads, I guess, because they're like little triangles, you can create this really lovely curved pattern um, with your bracelet with a little hole inside it. So it's showing through um, on your wrist. And I just really love it because we're doing an elastic. It's really easy to take off and to put on and very comfortable to wear. So if you had any of our, oh, I missed the seed bead there. Oh, back up, back up one bead. So if any of you bought our Caroline bracelets or our Gem Duo bracelets on elastic, um, you know that how easy to make it up and how comfortable it is to wear it. Um, I had, um, I think it was the Caroline last year or the year before, I think I wore the poor bracelet for like a six month straight really. Um, just really enjoyed it, it was really comfortable. Like just double check, just pop it down. Yes, I got all my seed beads in place and I got my cabochons. So the next one I need to pick up is a seed bead, then a cabochon, and then I'm back with my pattern, seed bead, nib bit, seed bead, another nib bit, another seed bead, another nib bit, and just carry on this pattern all the way down. Just like that. Oh, I've got an extra bit. 
and picking up the next cabochon. So if you just joined us, if you line up your cabochons, because your cabochon's got two holes and it's got sort of a flat side and a dome side to it. So if you line it up on your mat, as I have it, so there's one hole is on one side, one hole is on the bottom, one hole is on the top, and I'm going through the top here, and that allows me that um, just to double check that I'm picking them up in the same way because I did make a mistake in my bracelet and picked this one. It must have been a, another late night make, uh, picked this one up um, the wrong way around and obviously I didn't realise it until I knotted my bracelet. But um, hey ho, just make, bring your beads down if you need a little bit more elastic. So for my bracelet size, which is I got quite a little bit of a chunky wrist, I need 10 cabochons on my strand. Um, for Sarah, I guess she would need about eight or maybe nine, but probably eight is enough. So just checking the pattern. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not long to go. Just pick up some more. So if you started with the cabochons, you want to finish with your nib bits. Or well, somebody saying Tolberon. Yes, they are look like Tolberones. I said, don't eat them though, because they will be a bit crunchy on your teeth. I love Tolberones. I haven't had Tolberones for years. Oh, I'm going to have to go and get one now just to double check the taste, if it still tastes the same as it used to taste. Isn't that what we do, all do? Tony's saying a struggle with knotting elastic. I will show you just at the end, um, when I get to the end, how easy it is to knot it together. I love this flat elastic because there is more movement in it. Um, obviously, we use different elastic for different sort of project. The round elastic is not as stretchy. And uh, for that reason, it's really good to have, um, when you've got like heavier beads on there, They will hold up right. So just double checking again. Yeah. Oh, I missed the seed bead again. Just go back. Actually, I'm gonna take it out of my needle because I don't want to pierce it. Oh, Susan is saying I love Torberon too, but the big chunky ones. I know. Like I think it was quite a few years ago. Oh, maybe six, seven, eight years ago. We had this. I think it was a two kilo pack or something like that. It was in one of the supermarkets um, as a special offer and it was huge and and it was so hard to break it apart. We had it at Christmas time, it was came out. Right, so double checking my pattern is all right. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I got my 10 cabochons on there. I'm just gonna finish my pattern with my nib bits here. Um, Jenny's saying, I think you could use other two whole beads, not just near bits. So we actually have quite a few patterns um, using this method, um, using two whole beads on elastic, creating a two or three strand bracelet. And um, they are available on website. One of them is called Caroline. We got one called Gabriella. If you look in a bracelet section, there is quite a few there. They are really um, nice to sort of they're very nice to wear and they're really easy and comfortable to wear the only thing you need to make sure as you're doing your pattern that um the gaps obviously what you're creating between your beads are some of them are smaller and some of them are bigger and your bead count is has to be exactly right so, so working something like this out it might take me um you know what 10 goes or 15 goes sometimes if i'm lucky I have it in five going out. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add one of these little spring claps to onto my elastic because I'm gonna cut it off the reel so I can do my second strand. Um, normally at this point, I would knot it together and then go in and do the second strand, but I really want you to see how the pattern is forming. So I'm just gonna go in with the second strand and then we are gonna knot it. So I'm going to reinsert my needle into my elastic. I'm only, as you can see, this is a big eye needle, so I just split it. The whole of the needle is an eye. I like to work with these longer ones because you can pick up so much uh, beads 
at the same time but when you pull it through you're only pulling it through one by one i'm only inserting sort of an inch or so or maybe less at the end because i, I you know you're going to take it all the way through and you don't really don't want to waste any elastic so i really want my um knots and if i look on this bracelet i'll show you what i mean i want my knots in a row so they're not sort of all over the place but i actually can't find it here um so I'm going to go in the same position where I, oh, there we are. So there's a knot and probably the, those two knots in the middle strings are being pulled into this cabochon so that I slightly hid them. And um, but I want all my knots in one row. And um, as it goes around, and if you pull your knots into your beads anyway, you won't see them. Right, so I'm going to go through the cabochon first just like that so now what i'm doing i'm filling up my gaps in between my cabochon so i need to pick up the same pattern what i have here on my between the two cabochons so i'm going to pick up a seed bead i'm going to pick up a nib bit another seed bead another nib bit another seed bead another nib bit and finally a last seed bead so i got three oh they've just fallen off my needle oh i think i can tell this is going to be one of those days the oopsie days when i drop everything so this is what you need to pick up seed bead nib bead seed bead nib bead seed bead nib bead seed bead so you got three nib beads and four seed beads um diane is asking is it easier as you go not to go along yes it is but if i knotted then i would have to hold it up really up and um for you to see the pattern is just um, i'm gonna knot it in a minute but i just wanted to leave it flat for the second so you can see how the pattern's forming on my mat so all we're doing now is filling up I'm going through the second hole on the cabochon because one hole we added on the video our first elastic. Now we're going through the second hole on every single um, cabochon here and picking up this pattern exactly the same to match our first strand of elastic all the way along. So it's a nib bit, well, seed bit, nib bit, seed bit, nib bit, seed bit, nib bit, seed bit. Surprisingly, these bracelets do come together quite quickly. And then I'm just going to take my, just move these out of the way. I'm going to take my needle through the next cabochon. One hole is already sort of connected to the nib bits and I'm going to go through the free hole. Um, then he's saying, Kitty, love this design. What is the other bracelet that you are wearing? So this one is, a, the bracelet I'm wearing is a little bit of a mishmash because um, I had this for quite some time and it's using one of the purple, it's using from two different kits actually. But we got eight different color bundles on the website and how I put together the, each kit is going to make you two different bracelets. So this one is the what I'm demoing you with is the, the golden beige. So you got like your goldy colors and your beige colors. And in this bracelet, in fact, we're going to mix together the two components. So not along, you get two colors in your kit, but they are colors what I put together, but you can very easily mix together and create different, um, you know, your color brands, what, what you really like. So again, I picked up my pattern, what you need to go in between my cabochons and just pull this down. So when I pull them down, I'm pulling them down bead by bead, because if I pulled it in one long go, it would give a really, sort of, it would stress my elastic right up there when it's inserted into the needle and then just take my needle through the next cabochon oh the blue one is the henna bracelet oh sorry did you mean this bracelet or this one so this one the henna bracelet we did oh maybe four weeks ago five weeks ago i uh, this i love this this is done with super Geos and we have them on the website we got four different colorways and one 
kit will make you three bracelets. Um, this one's got a navy blue, a blue and a purple in there with this lovely um, nebula, I think they call the seed beads. And you can create different looks as well. You can either mix your colors or you can take one um, color. And I just love this. I, I'm very, I wear this all the time. When I wear something blue and purple, like I got sort of a little pink and blue in my top today. Sorry, I just had to take a sip of my coffee. Um, I love wearing this bracelet. It lives on my nightstand in a little pot. So I do. I think sometimes that you have your favourite ones, don't you? So what, what? let me know. What's your favourite piece of jewellery? What you wear all the time? Do you change your... Does it change like, you know, as the months go by? Or have you got one what you've worn for absolute sort of years? What Something what you made? Because I know we all wear our wedding rings and other bits, but um, what is your favourite piece of jewellery, what you wear all the time? Do let me know. Oh, Danny Singh, you haven't demoed the henna bracelet. No, I think it wasn't a Facebook Live. It was a um, kit what we launched on the website. There is, I did a video for it, so if you do buy that kit, there is a video link at the top, so you can, you have got video instructions with the instructions. But it was three and four weeks ago when we did it on the website. Some of the things we can do, like, you know, some of them are released in kits, but we got hundreds and hundreds of them and hundreds and hundreds of different patterns just pulling this down. Oh, Lucy's saying she's wearing the Hannah bracelet too. Oh, oh, she's saying she's not taken it off since she made it last week. First piece of jewellery I have made that. Let me just expand this column to see that I wear. Oh, bless. And Brent is saying my green amber ring. Dennis is saying just finished the Lydia bracelet in the pink and I love it. I have been asked to make some for friends. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Yeah, that's usually our, our, my one of my best friends. It was her birthday a um, few weeks ago, actually. And I was waiting for one of the, you know, my earrings, what you all admire, admired. And I got in contact with Helen, which is, he was a lamp rock artist, to make some beads for us. And I got one made for my friend, especially in the colour, which I think would, like, you know, really suit her. And she had to wait, I had to give it to her like a little bit after her. Oh, what I, what, look, what I just did, I'm chatting too much and I added my pattern on twice. So let's back up a bit. So I made her earrings and I gave it to her last week and she was over the moon and she just te texted me yesterday, I haven't stopped wearing it and everybody loves it. And um, I said, oh, maybe Christmas Santa will bring you another pair then. Another special pair to bear. Just pop the end through. And we need to go to this cabochon first before we adding any more beads. Helen is asking, oh, just joined. Wow, what I know what to do to be huge beginner. Does. So, um, I, big eye needles are great because the whole of the needle is an eye. So I can split this into half as I seen me inserting my um, elastic in there. Now they are great because the whole of the eyes, uh, um, all of the needle is an eye. You can work with thicker mediums, but you would normally work with like a little, you know, size 10, 12 or, or any beading needle you have to, to work with your threads. And when you've got a big eye needle, project like this, it's really make it easier because if I was going to try to, you know, pick the beads up and add it to my elastic bead by bead, I would be here forever. So big eye needles are really make life easier. There is two different sizes. So there's a shorter one, which is probably about half the size of this. And there is this long ones. Now I prefer the long ones because um, I do a lot of stitching and I tend to, when I use the shorter needles, let me just check, yes, I got the right button. When I, when I um, use the shorter needles, 
I tend to press the bottom of the needle with my finger through my designs. And if I use the shorter one um, with the big eye needle, both of the ends are quite sharp, so you can't really help it through with your fingers because you're gonna keep piercing your fingers. So with the long one, because it's nice and long, I can pull it through quite easy. So I love using the long one. And then as well, you can pick up a pattern, more of a pattern on there before you pull your beads down. When I, I'm just picking up my next segment and when you're pulling your beads down, I'm not pulling the whole lot down at once because I don't want to add stress onto my elastic. I'm going to take them down, but this pattern, you know, this bead can be much more there, but I'm still going to come in and pull them down bead by bead. Um, Jane is asking, what are your policies um, on selling the jewelry made from your patterns? You absolutely, um, I support that because I always say you always got two wrists and you got a neck, you got a couple of ears and pretty much like if you like me and you love making jewelry, you're going to end up with boxes and boxes of jewelry. So they're going to be coming a point that... Um, you could, you know, friends or family or anybody who sees and likes your jewelry could ask, can you make me one? Um, you can do. And I think that's a lovely way that sometimes you can't recuperate the time, especially if you're doing um, sort of a stitched one. But, you know, let's be honest, we, most of us is doing this because we love making things. And even if you just can make enough money selling the odd pieces here and there just to fund your hobby, um, I think it's a really great way. So I do... You know, I am so happy if you can sell your jewellery or sell a few pieces. So, yes, absolutely you can from our patterns. Right, so I'm just picked up my last um, segment and I'm going to pull these beads down. Now, I'm not going to add and I'm going to knot it together now. And as I'm adding the seed beads that's what I would have done, but I just wanted to show you how the pattern builds side by side flat on my mat. And naughty seed bead running away. Let's pull that down as well. So knotting your elastic together, there is various different ways you can knot elastic together, would you believe it? Um, each of us designers, we prefer a slightly different way. So if you ask Sarah, she likes to do a surgeon's knot. If you ask, um, you know, somebody else, they will have their own variations of how they like to do they knots. Now I do, if I use a round elastic, I do a surgeon's knot. If I use the flat elastic like this one, I do three half knots, um, sort of alternating um how I tie it together just to sort of make it a little bit stronger because this one is a little bit more slippery material than the round elastic and a little bit more stretchy as well so I don't want my knots to come undone but you're going to add a tiny bit of um, nail polish there anyway or you can do like glue to secure it so to knot it together I'm not gonna sort of pull it out and push my beads in too much I just want enough so there is no gaps in my bracelet don't forget there is four strands of elastic elastic is gonna be holding your bracelet up so you're not gonna um, you're not gonna have any problem there so just take it all the right over left then I'm gonna come from the other side and complete my other half of the knot now when you're tying elastic you want to do little pulls on the knot not one big pull because then you can snap your elastic and I'm going to go in one more time so the third time and just three little half knots on top of each other and if I bring it up you can see even though I did it three that knot is really small so I will be able to add a tiny bit of nail varnish to the top of it and I'm going to pull this knot inside this cabochon bead later on so it's not going to be um, not going to be noticeable at all. Right, let me just get this end off and we're going to knot these two together as well. Right, the reason I like to knot it row by row so you don't um, end up with a twisted bracelet as well. So when you, if you... You could make your bracelet up first and then um, knot it together. Just make sure that um, 
none of your ends are twisted. So let me just pull the ends together and just straighten all this out around my hand. So I know there is no twist in there. That's it. So I just made sure all the cabochons are sitting um, with the dome side towards the outside of my bracelet. So I've got no twist in there anywhere. And then I'm just going to knot again this tail end, or these two little tails together. So bring it together one, then I'm going to turn it the other way to finish my just a normal reef knot and then square knot and bring it back around for the third time do tiny little pulls to secure that knot and now it's really nice and secure so you can see I got my two little knots there I'm going to slightly trim these ends but I'm not going to cut them off all the way yet because I'll do that after I um added all my strands so the middle part of our bracelet is ready now so now we need to run around the edge and fill the gaps between our on the second hole on our nib bits and i'm going to start again at the same position so i want my knots in a nice little row so i'm going to take a bit more elastic off my reel Diane is asking, what if you buy yesterday necklace and today's bracelet, how do we add the two discounts? Um, Diane, that's a really good question. Molly, if you're watching, can you please answer that? Because um, I, um, I'm really good putting colors together, really good designing these little kits, but um, that's something what um, Simon or Molly would know. I, I'm not really sure how the discount codes works on the website that's a little bit technical for me but so molly's going to get back to you in a second right so i'm going to go through this nib bit on the free hole and this is so easy this part of it we're just going to pick up just pop some seed beads there i'm going to pick up one seed bead and go through the next one and pull this through pick up another seed bead and go through the next one. So now I am adding these seed beads to the outer edge of my bracelet. And this is why I said it's easier to start with the middle ones because then as you're going around the edge, it will be easier. And I will flip my bracelet around. Just got this tail bit tangled up. That's it. So when you in between the nib bits, you're only adding one seed beads. When you get that you are on top of a cabochon, you're going to add two seed beads and go through the next nib bit. It's just that gap there is a little bit bigger. Now, if you just added one seed bead here, it would just open up your curve a little bit more. And just keep going around and adding one seed bead between the knit beads or two seed beads when you get on the top of a cabochon. Let me just get rid of some of this. Just cut this off and pop that wheel of elastic to the side so I don't get caught up in it. Oh, Simon is saying only one this that this can coat per order. I thought that was the case, but I wasn't quite sure. So it's better to ask the experts who are know the website. So I'm keep adding them all the way around. As you can see, our our little sort of bracelet is forming really nicely already. We got eight different color bundles on the website. So the one I'm working with is the golden beige. I love this one and as you can see at the top you can make a really beige bracelet or you can make a gold bracelet or what I did here I'm blending the two colors together. So alternatively my second bracelet from this kit would be beige on the outside and gold in the middle. Look I just added one seed bit there again. What's going on today? Just take it back. Do you step and check your that you're adding the right amount of seed beads time to time. 
just sort of you don't make a mistake because I'll I'll do it all the time as well and I think Sarah can say as well she's do as well but um, if you do check it time to time at least you don't have to take back too much of your bracelet so there we go extra seed bead so you're adding when you're doing your outer edge you're adding one seed beads between the nib beads and you're adding two seed beads on the top of the capuchons and just keep going around just like that so I'm working with longer big eye needle because um, for me it's just easier to pull it through my beads uh, if you work with a shorter one so which would be half the size at this point i would take my finger and push um, my needle through with the bottom of my finger and i get really sore fingers so the big eye needle got sharp end on both ends so it doesn't really matter which side you use and with the longer one you just take that motion out that you having to push the needle by the bottom of it through your bead work so that's why I love the longer ones. But the shorter ones are great as well. Well, to be honest, <laughs> I use which one ever I have at hand. Um, I have both of the sizes in my stash, but I do prefer when I do something like this to use a longer one. So I'm just keep going around. I probably ran half the bracelet already. So as you can see, it's a really nice and quick make as well. So when I'm adding two seed beads now because I'm on top of a cabochon and just keep adding one seed bead. So if you just joined us, we're doing this lovely curve, knee bit curve it's called, bracelet. Um, I've worked the pattern out some time ago and I made a bracelet up and I wore this, I don't know, months and months. I really enjoyed it. I enjoy blending different colors together and um, on Wednesday, when I was looking at sort of what colors we're gonna do, I found that we have so many lovely colors of nib bits and cabochons in um, stock. So I straight away I had to play with it and put things together. Um, I do realize that, you know, some people's tastes are different to me and that's why I wanted to put the bundles together so I can give you the option so you can really blend the colors together or you can make two sort of similar color bracelets so each of the kits make two bracelets you can make one for yourself and perhaps give one away or gift it sell it if you like it comes together quite quickly as well i think i'm almost all the way around i'm just adding one seat um, we did the two middle rows first and now i'm doing the outer row and then i'm going to turn around and do the outer edge on a separate piece of elastic so the bracelet is holed up by four elastics four separate pieces of elastic so it's super secure we're using that and i just did the same thing again i just added one seed beads but i should have added two. Oh, i think i need a little bit more of my coffee to get my brain working today i was up really late last night doing these little scholar swatches for you because there were like 16 little swatches to make up i left my um elastic long on the other side so i can finish them up as bracelets later on but things like this i love playing with colors and I don't often realize what the time and sometimes it's like 11 o'clock or even half past 11 and we're like, oh, I must go to bed now. I think you just when you get excited and you really get into it, you lose yourself in it and you lose, um, you know, what time it is. You don't even think about if you're hungry or thirsty. You just keep carrying on and making them and blending colors is I love doing. out and I think we are back on the beginning yes so I'm just gonna keep it, pick up my two seed beads what would be on the side of my cabochon and I'm gonna knot these two strands together so just make sure again your bracelet is not twisted anywhere 
and just pull it out just a slightly bit just to get rid of any gaps if you had as you were making it along you don't need to pull your beads down too much because you don't want too much tension on them and then I'm gonna knot it three times three half knots so I'm gonna go one way again I'm gonna take it around the other way just sort of taking the end around the little loop I form and back this way so one end is coming out one way the other end is coming from the other side and just taking the tail end through that loop loads of little pulls to secure that knot I don't want to do one big pull because that could break my bracelet and just pull these tails out so they're all sitting the same way and then we're going to go in and add the third row to this and that's like if you have got one of these little clips sometimes what i like to do is just to clip these are called um bead stoppers they're little springs and they are in my stash all the time it's just really great to you know you you i use it all the time so if you've got one of these little springs you can just add it to the tail ends just sort of keep them together and they won't flip around Right, taking a bit more elastic and I'm just going to do that last line. So if I, I guess, if I wasn't talking and I was just sort of sitting there and concentrating on this, it would take me probably about half an hour to make one of these bracelets up. So now I'm going to turn this around because I need to work on this edge. So I want my knots in one row so i'm gonna be my, i want my knot here so i'm gonna pick up the two seed beads first and go through the first nib bit and then i'm gonna do exactly the same what i did on the other side add one seed bead between the nib bits and when i get on the top of the cabochon here I'm going to add two and that's exactly it. Now when you working with, we got other patterns as well. So we had one with super duos and cabochons. We had some with the part puka beads. Um, one of them was called Caroline. The other one's called Gabriella. We had um, oh, one with the gem doers that would looked really great as well with the crystals. The, I suppose the hack or the nick of the um, any of these bracelet is that you need to make sure that the four strands of elastic if you if I was mathematically add these whole sizes don't forget for the nib bit the whole size is bigger at the top as it's on the bottom they have to equal up and sometimes it takes me five tries to work a bracelet out like this sometimes it takes me 15 tries because even if it's just sort of a tenth of a millimeter out once you go all around your bracelet if you have got 40 beads on there that's um four millimeters which can throw out your bracelet and instead of looking nice and flat on your wrist it can curve up on one side so i think the great thing like when you do buy kits, this is all worked out for you and you know it's going to work and you're going to have a beautiful bracelet with a beautiful pattern. And I love these elastic ones because it's so easy to take off and to put on and they're really um, comfortable to wear. I can't stress that enough that it's on your wrist, but it almost feels like it wasn't on there because it's as you go or have anything else on, it sort of molds to the shape of your wrist just go through keep adding the seed beads betty's saying this looks very nice oh thanks betty i love this one i love all of these bracelets these two whole beads are really great because you can create really special patterns with it and you just like as a bracelet bar would be you bonding the strands together because one strand will go through one hole and the other strand will go through the other hole on your bead um carol saying thanks kid you need to go to work now we'll catch later so you can re-watch the video if you go on our website in the Facebook tutorials, go into the project you're interested in, the big blue button on the top will take you straight to the 
Facebook to the video, but um, what is that about? So today's one obviously is not up there yet because um, we're just filming it. But like yesterday's ones, you can click on it or the day before, day before that, any of them. We've been doing this for 17 weeks now, I think, 16, 17 weeks. I do need to count up the weeks in my diary because I keep saying people, oh, we've we only been doing it for seven weeks. And then in fact, it was like, 10, 11 weeks. The weeks go past so quickly here that um, I don't know. I don't know what day is it most of the day, I guess. Or if you share the video, it will stay on your timeline forever. And um, we can, um, I'm really sort of appreciative if you do share the video because we can get more people in the making and something like this, if you looked at it, you would think it's really difficult to make, but in fact, it's so easy to make that, um, you know, even a beginner can do it. And I love to get loads of people into the crafting because it's very therapeutic. And um, I think, you know, you create really lovely objects as well. I mean, not just beading, we've done tea light holders, we've done other bits of pieces, uh, Christmas baubles with it as well. So you could do a lot with beads and I just love to inspire people because sometimes just all you need just to see somebody to make something. So please share the video if you can. Um, also, Molly uploads these videos to YouTube as well. So you can catch it there as well. So that's it. Our bracelet is finished. I'm just going to knot the last one together. So get these tails out of the way. Just like that. going to rid of a bit of my tail because it was a bit long so I'm just knotting the last one together now again making sure my bracelet nice and straight but by this strand oh, we are still attached to the spool by this time it will sit straight because you got these three strands going there together so I'm just sort of tightening up a little bit just sort of I don't have any gaps and I'm quite simply again just gonna knot it together two and coming back again so this is the flat and elastic Sarah's or refers to is a flossy elastic because it's made of fibers I don't know if I can spit the end but I want to show it to you uh, made out of loads of fibers um, sort of let's get a needle with a more point to it See, it makes up fibers and they sort of bond them together. Can you see that? And it's actually very similar texture and very similar feel to a yeah, dental floss. However, this one is really stretchy and your dental floss is not. But um, that's why we refer to it as a flossy elastic, but it's called flat elastic on the website. We used a big eye needle where the needle is a hole of an eye, um, really easy to open up and um, you can add your... Um, elastic into it very easy to work with it just makes life easier when you're stringing on beads right so I'm right here at the end I got all my knots there now you could either add a little bit of glue or a little bit of nail varnish to the top of your knots and I will show you where to add them now if you can you can pull this into your bead you can either wait um, until your ends are dry and just move this down a little bit out of the way and then pull it in I like to sort of add the nail varnish on there and pull it so I'm trying to pull my knots away from my bead all four of them at the same time I then gonna suspend this in my fingers I'm holding the bracelet down with my thumb and uh, my little finger and ring finger and I'm holding the elastic up between my index finger and my I should have opened the nail varnish first didn't I open your nail varnish first pop it to the side so you're ready to do it then pull your little knots out and I'm pulling the beads down, holding them with my fingers. So my 
little knots is sort of away from my bead and I'm gonna take my nail varnish and I'm gonna take most of the nail varnish off of this brush so I hardly got anything on it and I am brushing the nail varnish just on the top of the knots just right on the top might not even touching nothing as you can see we got a tiny little bubble of nail varnish on the top here and what I want this is just to seep into the very top of the knot I don't really want the nail varnish down here below my knot which is going into my beads just on the top of the knots just adding a tiny bit just pull the side ones out a little bit that's it so I did the two middle one and I'm just going to do the two side ones again taking most of the nail varnish off just right on the top of the knot there and I would even leave this to dry so what this did it didn't go all the way into the knot it's just sitting in the last the tom the third little half knot we did just sitting on the top of that bonding dot together which then secured the whole thing and normally I would wait until this dries but I'm going to cut this off for you now. So I'm leaving probably about a couple of millimetre on the top of the knots of my elastic. Maybe three, two, no, two millimetre. I'm just going to trim this off. And then I'm quite simply going to take my bracelet and pull my beads apart a little bit and push this cabbage on onto the top of the knots and as you can see those knots just disappeared into my cabochon and I can do the same thing on the side I would probably pull that knot into the nib bit itself so just make them disappear you don't have to do this even if they are really small like this one is still there you're not really going to see it it's a very tiny little knot so that's it really this is really how easy is to make one of these bracelets and I'm gonna take my henna bracelet off now I'm just I love this one I think it works out really nice how pretty is that oh somebody said they were trying to open the nail one issue shoot on hand yes I always do I get myself in a pickle and then I have to share to either my husband or my children to come and help me out because I don't want to let the beads go so it's really nice. So this is came out from the golden beige bundle where you got a gold color uh, beads and you got your beige color beads or you can blend the two colors together and make a really pretty pattern. It's really a to you. That's, this is why I wanted to put two colors together for you. So each of the bundle will make two bracelets. And let me just show you the colors again because I love them so much. Oh, sorry, wobbling camera. So that's your golden bronze my second first favorite i guess is the teal bronze um no so sorry this is golden beige this is teal bronze this has got a really lovely teal beads and bronze beads together and the seed bead is same in both of them then we got the bronze copper so this one is a slightly darker bronze than the bronze what you get in the till so the teal one has got like a little bit of a, a gold shine to it this one has got more like a copper shine to it. So this one is a bronze copper. This has got the really lovely rose gold seed beads between them. And you can see how it lifts the darker color and the lighter color as well. I love this one as well. I think I'm going to have to make one of those for myself. And then we got the amethyst copper. I'm just loving these copper colors at the moment. Again, one of them is very amethyst. The other one is copper colors. But, you know, as we blended this together, you can blend the copper right in the middle of the amethyst. This amethyst beads has got like a tiny bit of copper shine to them. I don't know if you can see them. As I turning it, they got a tiny bit of copper shine. So they're great as well. You got the blues, which are like, blues are always my favorite because I got so much blue clothes. Again, you get two shades. You get a lighter shade and you get a darker shade, but you could put the darker cabochons with the lighter beads and the lighter cabochons with the darker beads. It's entirely up to you. 
purples. I love these ones. You get a sort of a, a more of a purple, proper purple um, color and a one of a more of an aubergine color. So I love this one as well because you can wear it with a lot of pink tops. And for, no, not finally, we've got one more after this. This is I call Summer Breeze because this is so me i guess i love the pink with the blues and the purple with the blues as well so i just wanted to create a color together i guess that's more your day wear that's more your night wear but it's just really nice i love i love the pink with the blue together um i wanted to create the bundle like that and then we got our silver gray option one of them is a sort of a matte silver and the other one is like a shiny hematite finish really great um really great color ways together but again you could mix to put the silver cabochons with the darker um hematite color nib bits and uh darker hematite color nib um cabochon with the silver nib bits just sort of you blend your colors and then your pattern is really going to stand out like i did on the bracelet on the video today um they are really elegant as well so and really easy to take off and to put on and that's why i love about it um with the elastic you got no beginning no end no class to worry about it it's just great and because it's four strands holding your bracelet up together it's going to be really nice and secure so the discount is curve if you would like to get one of these kits on the website c u r v e you put it in the checkout box there is a discount code section you can put it in there and um, you get 15 percent off of the kits themselves today one kit will make you two bracelets don't forget and um, it just you know it's a really i think it's a really nice project it's like let me turn you back around so I can see you. Well, actually, you can see me. So that's it, really. I, I didn't even look at the time because usually I have my laptop in the corner and I can sort of keep an eye on the comments and um, keep an eye on um, what time is it. But um, I, I forgot to get my laptop out this morning. It's still in my bag from um, last night. We get, um, came back from work. So, oh, God, I think we've been on here for over an hour now. Yeah so that's not anyway that's fine so i am just going to turn this light off because i can see that's is that's going to brighten up them I just see there's the um doesn't matter um um right so do check out of the website do add the discount code curve to your basket so you can get 15 percent off today the code is valid for one week why is this so dark i just see let me just wipe on the camera sorry guys is that better i just think it's um so dark but maybe can you see me fine um on my phone it's just showing really dark but never mind um so yeah do share the video if you can i really appreciate that um i will be here tomorrow with you and i'm gonna be showing you the embroidery kit so i'm going to show you how easy it is to make it um i <laughs> i got three on a go at the moment i have to admit um yeah i've really fallen in love with them so um, i think perhaps for christmas um this year people's going to have like a little embroidery picture they can put in their home from me but um my family what we what we see um I just something stitching beads down bead by bead and you got your pattern out there is just really great to I don't know it's really satisfying when you completed the row and you got all the seed beads on there that are really enjoying um are oh, they saying you look fine so it m must be just my phone I guess um I can't really see maybe the brightness turned itself down somehow I don't know if it um, at phones. I'm not that technical, but I'll check it out in a minute. Right, so tomorrow it will be me. We will be doing this lovely, showing you how to do these lovely pictures. You only need to learn a couple of stitches and then you will be away and can be making them very easy, bit by bit, picking them up, stitching them up. Very enjoyable and very satisfying to do. Um, that's it. Sarah is going to be with you Sunday and next week... For Monday, it's going to be me again. Um, Sarah's having her floors done, bless her, at home. So they're taking apart all of her study and everything else. And um, they're doing the whole of that. There's, I think. So it will be me. I've got a couple of new projects to lined up for you, which I'm uh, really excited about it because I wanted to do it for quite some time. I think Molly added um, 
events on Facebook um, already. So you go and check it out. Um, do share your pictures if you make anything uh, in the, um, one of our groups. I love to see you, what you make or if you come up with a different color combinations for these bracelets or if you do anything, do share your pictures because I always love to see what you're making. Um, so that's it for me today. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. Keep on crafting. I'll be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. and we're going to be doing these lovely embroidery pictures i'm super excited about this one and as i said i got three on the go already but um never mind they will get done right have a lovely day everybody and i see you tomorrow bye